A major development coming in from Pakistan, the PMLN has made two major announcements. The Nawaz Sharif-led party has nominated Sheba Sharif as a prime minister candidate. The announcement was made at a presser in Islamabad just moments ago, and we also understand that Maryam Nawaz will be the first woman chief minister of Punjab. This is according to the PMLN party, Maryam Nawaz Sharif, to be PMLN's candidate for chief ministership in Punjab and announces Sheba Sharif while addressing a presser in Islamabad along with political party leaders. Our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik is now joining us on the line. Anas Malik, tell us more details about this uh, latest development and what it means going forward. Well, then, this means that the, the uncertainty, the looming uncertainty on the Pakistani politics has somehow come to an end. Uh, following the polls that took place about five days ago, uh, the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz has nominated, Nawaz Sharif has nominated uh, Shabazz Sharif as the prime ministerial candidate of the PMLN. And this has been announced by the party's information secretary, Mariam Aurangzeb. I was just listening to her a short while ago. Uh, the uh, uh, political party's leaders were addressing a joint press conference here in Islamabad a short while ago. And during that press conference, uh, Shabazz Sharif announced that uh, the prime minister, that the CM candidate, the chief minister candidate of Pakistan Muslim Nawaz from Punjab would be Maryam Nawaz, and that Shabazz Sharif would convince Nawaz Sharif to take the reign of power and be the prime minister. Right as the press conference was ongoing, uh, Maryam Aurangzeb was instructed by Nawaz Sharif, who were watching the press conference together, to make this announcement and inform that Shabazz Sharif will be the prime ministerial candidate. So the looming uncertainty has now largely ended. Now what remains to be seen is to be uh, with regards to cabinet composition and the power sharing equation. Eric? Adas Malik, what uh, could have made Nawaz Sharif to take this decision and give the prime minister's uh, position to his brother, Shabazz Sharif? And also, they had conducted a meeting with the PPP, that is Bhutto Zardari. What do we know about that meeting between the PMLN and the PPP? Well, last question first. As a consequence of the meeting between the PPP and the PMLN, the People's Party Central Executive Committee met for two days here in Islamabad, and today the People's Party came up with a decision that they will not be part of the government, but rather would be supporting the prime ministerial candidate and other decisions. That being said, the first bit that what led to Nawaz Sharif taking such a decision, well, I think the fact that uh, the clear mandate was with Pakistan Tehreek and Saf, and uh, despite of the wow factor that was being put in place, the charm that was being put in place by the P Pakistan Muslim Nawaz with Nawaz Sharif's return, the party has not been able to back much of seats and numbers. Therefore, that has led to Nawaz Sharif having a rethink. Now, the bigger question is that will Nawaz Sharif, who barely managed to secure his own seat from Lahore as well, will he be able uh, to come back to the parliament? Would he want to come back to the parliament or not? That is a million dollar question. But the rest of the modalities are pretty much done. Eric? Anas Malik, one final question. I'm just very curious because uh, the PMLN has chosen a candidate to replace their candidate, which is uh, Nawaz Sharif has now been replaced by Sheba Sharif. How is the election commission going to handle this going forward? Well, well at this point of time, there is no constitution provision that bars them from doing that. So uh, Sheba Sharif or Nawaz Sharif, it's a party's decision. And all it, what matters is the day uh, is the day uh, on the polling, uh, on the vote of the prime minister and the nomination. So the nomination has been done. So the election commission's bid uh, is uh, largely reduced. And now all eyes would be as to what, uh, as to what, uh, as to when would rather the uh, parliament is convened. It is to be convened within 21 days of the polling uh, being held. So when is the session being convened? And then when would be the oath of the next prime minister? All right, that is our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik. And if you're just joining us, this is a major development coming in from Pakistan where the PMLN has made two major announcements. The Ranaz Sharif-led party has nominated Sheba Sharif as the Prime Minister candidate. The announcement was made at a presser in Islamabad just moments ago. And we also understand that Mariam Nawaz Sharif will be PMLN's candidate for the Chief Ministership in Punjab.